Hey, my name is Imran. Today we are going to learn about some basic file handling techniques like if you wanted to save file in .py or you wanted to load that .py file in Jupyter Notebook. So these techniques are very useful. So let's get started. First of all, I will create a folder. I will rename it day 4. We will go inside and we'll create Jupyter Notebook. We can name day 4. I will write some lines of code. Okay, A is equal to 10. So now if I want to, to save these lines of code in .py file so I can use history and f for file and i can say with any name of dot pi file so let's say main one dot pi so when i will run it it will save the file okay we can see that all the lines of code is here and it is saving all the history even the file which we saved okay if we wanted to save only required data then we can use file So here if we write down any code below this uh, file so that will be saved other things will not be saved like history so for example if I say B is equal to 20 so when I will run it it will save the file and if I if we look at that file so you can see that there is no any other line of code like in this one it was also saving history command as well but here there will be only code which we will be saving after writing this line of code so we can rename any file name from here and uh, we can write any code and then this command will save all that below code okay we can also append the code in the existing file like we can call file and we can append any line of code by using dash a and then we can call the file where we wanted to save anything like if i say c is equal to 30 so if i will save it so when i will check again you will see that there is also c which we saved here i mean we when we append the file we can also append the file by using write file like we can say write file append main 2 and here we can say that c d 40 and if we check that file again so you can see that there is also code written here if you have already dot py file in your directory and you wanted to run that so you can simply use run and you can call the file it is basically running the code but we had nothing in the code so that is why it is not showing here so if i say print hello so you can see that when we are calling it it is running it and this command is also written in the dot main dot main to file so you can see that okay so we can also use python and we can run the file as well like we can call python dot pi and you can see that it's also running the code and also we can load the code without running it so we can use load command and we can call the file it should be load l o a so you see that when we call load file so it is loading all the code which is inside this okay so you can use all these commands for dot py file as you need it so i'm just explaining all of them so you can use any one
you can also save functions in the .py file and you can call them let me just show you how we can write the function how we can save in the existing file and then what is the procedure to call that function in the Jupyter notebook so for example I wanted to save the file in wanted to append function in main one create the function dev channel name for example I will send a parameter and let's say print channel name is whenever we will send anything through parameter so it will be printed here okay so I just run it so when I will run it this function will be saved in main one so let me just check it you can see that here is a function channel name okay so I am just going to call this file and let's see what happened okay so now I will call this challenge channel name function here and uh, will feed any parameter this to this function and will get the result from main one and then I will import the channel name channel name okay and then I will say channel name and I will send any parameter like I say can console you so when I will run it it will call this function from this main one file and will send this parameter to the text and text will be printed here so let me just run it this error is coming because I am calling this file so in this file first it is calling these first lines so these lines were fine but when it comes here so this file was not running correctly in the compiler so that is why the error so I'm just going to delete this line and let me just run it again so you can see that it is saying that channel name is console if you wanted to see graphically what is inside the dot pi file so you can use pi cat and you can call main one dot pi you will be using percentage here so you can see that it is showing that what is inside this file I'm just going to close it and also we can use Python and version so this way we can also check the current version of Python at Jupyter Notebook so you can see that right now I'm using this version of Python also you can check which variables you created in this new uh, notebook so you can use who by using who you can see that you created a b c channel name d name so all these names were created and if you wanted to check that what are the values for these uh, variables so you can use whose so when you use it you can see that the variable was a and the value was 10 and what was the data type all these things are here and also channel name was function and the other variables as well you can also check the current directory as well by using percentage pwd so you can see that right now where you are so we are saving all this in the day 4 because our Jupyter file is inside the day 4 folder and also you can change the directory by using percentage cd by using this you can change the directory you can go back directly if i will do this and i will run the previous one again so you can see that now we are in console you but if you wanted to go in this folder so then you can cd you can do it cd and this way but now i was there that is why it is going there but after that but if you will do with the current directory it will go one step back 
and yes as you can see that in the start we use history here so if we wanted to check the history all history without saving any dot py file we can also check that what what is the history what we were doing in all this file okay and if you wanted to install any library inside the Jupyter notebook you can use exclamation mark pip install and if you wanted to install open cv so you can use open cv python and this way you can also install the library i'm going to install it but the requirements are already satisfied because i have already open cv installed so that is why it is saying that already satisfied otherwise it would be installing this library and yes if you wanted to check the list of all magic commands so you can use percentage s magic but this way you can see that these are all the magic commands which can be used in the Jupyter notebook I hope these techniques were useful for you and were interesting for you and also will be helpful when you will be working on the project so thank you see you in the next video Thank you.